In this tutorial in PowerDirector 365, we'd like to show you how you can match skin tones when you have more than one subject in your photograph. We have a guy here and we're going to put him in the same photo with a gal who has a much darker skin tone. She has a nice tan and he's very pale. So I'm going to click on the edit button at the top, go to the edit mode, and let's enter her into the picture. So I'm going to click on the layers, add new layer icon in the upper left corner. And then we're going to add photo layer from a folder. I could use control shift P to do the same thing. And we'll click on the image I want and click open. And here is the gal. So what I'd like to do is extract her from this photo. Easy way to do that is to choose the selection tool. That's the second one from the top on the upper right corner. And then we'll use the selection brush, the smart brush. Click on that. And then I'm going to simply highlight and quickly select most of her and a few other things because I'm not going to be extremely precise here in this example. We're just using this for an illustration. And that's good enough for now. What I want to do is invert that. I can click on the invert, which is a double arrow on the panel on the right. It will select everything but her, and then I press the delete key on the keyboard, and that will make her the only thing we have left. Press escape, and then I'm going to click on my selection at the top, and we'll enlarge her a little bit and move her over here. Okay, so now we have her and she has a much darker skin tone than he does. How do we make him look like her when it comes to skin tone? We're going to use a mask. In fact, I'll use the same one I used with her, the same brush that we did before. Click on that. But I want to copy the background first. I'll right click, click on duplicate. We'll turn off the base layer and make sure we're editing on the background copy. And then I'm going to use this brush and we'll brush on a mask for most of his skin. And we're always going to have a little darker area there for the neck and for the arms, but the rest of him is quite pale. Again, I'm not trying to be too careful here. We're just using this for an illustration. So let's assume that that's what I want for my mask for him. So in order to make the mask, I want to make sure I have background copy highlighted. I'll click on my mask icon, add mask. And immediately it takes the area that I used and makes a mask out of it. I'm going to press escape and then what I want to do is right click and we'll invert the mask. So now it's, it's him. I'm going to turn on the layer beneath it so we can see his back. I'll press escape to get out of there and now what we need to do is color the mask. So I'm going to click on my layers button again and choose add solid color layer this time and we have to decide what color we want him to be. The easy way to do it is to use the color picker. So when I move my mouse off of the color picker, I see that I can pick any color from her. I'll try to pick a medium color, not too light, not too dark. When I click on that, it will take the R, G, and B values and put them in here. And here's the color that we're going to see. I'll click on OK. Now that colors everything, so we need to take our mask in the background copy, drag and drop it, on solid color and I will duplicate it and replace the layer mask and then I also have to invert it and there he is the color approximately that she is. So one of the things I need to do though at this point is I need to change that because that's not very attractive. One way to do it is simply to dial the opacity down and when we do that we begin to see how he is not pale anymore. But we're going to do more than opacity. There's another blend mode that actually works better than normal, which is a default. So I'm going to click on the down arrow and choose the multiply blend mode. When I click on that, you notice it, it, he almost becomes identical with her in terms of skin color. So we're most of the way there. Now, if you want to do a little extra adjustment, let me show you a couple of other ways in which we can make adjustment layers. I'm going to click on the third icon from the left Let's do a curve adjustment layer. And I want to make sure that this one applies only to his back. So what I need to do is I need to take the mask. Let me minimize that for a second. 
Take the mask and drag it to the curve layer and duplicate it there. Yes, I want to replace it. Then when we open it up, we're going to see that there are several ways we can adjust it. We can use the sliders at the bottom. We can click on any of the points on this line, and move up or down, or we can take this tool here and move it on his back. Let's take a lighter part, and then we can move it up or down. We can lighten or darken that lighter part. We can take that and click on the darker part, like under his arm, and lighten or darken this. So this actually adds contrast because his back is kind of flat. Let's do another adjustment tool. I'm going to click on the adjustment layer again. This time we'll use the HSL. And again, I want to take the mask, drop it on there. Duplicate mask on selected layer. Yes. So we can move the sliders individually or we can take the hue, saturation and lightness and change them. Let's click on hue. It turns white. Click on this tool. And now I can change the hue. A little more red, a little less red. I can change the saturation accordingly. And again, it doesn't take a lot to make a difference. And I can change the lightness as well. Darker or do I want it lighter? So you can modify using these tools. And so now his skin is a pretty close match to hers. You can go back if you want to into the color area. Change this. You can change the opacity of the multiply mode on the color itself. So there's many modifications you can make to suit your taste. But that's a pretty simple way in which you can take one person and try to cause their skin tone to be close to or match another person's skin tone on the same photograph.